best way to introduce cats fast is to keep them separate at first. Cats are very territorial creatures, and if you just throw them into the ring together, they'll probably fight, and this is just going to prolong the process. You'll have to adjust this timeline based on your cat's needs. Every cat is an individual. Some might become best friends straight away, but you wanna respect your cat's needs and his behavior to make sure that your cats do become best friends. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and this video is sponsored by me. I create and sell printable binders that are super helpful in keeping up with your cat's feeding routines, litter box habits, his likes, dislikes, all of your products and supplies. This is very helpful in the introduction process, especially when you adopt a new cat to your family. The links for the printables will be in the pinned comment and in the description. Thank you so much for your support. So the first step when you're introducing new cats is to put the new cat into a spare room with a closed door. You'll wanna set up the spare room with all of your cat's needs. For example, his own litter box, cat tree, scratching post, food and water, and his own toys. This is going to help your cat acclimate to your home in a small, confined space while keeping your other cats happy without the stress of a new cat in direct contact. Any direct contact at first might be stressful and this can cause behavioral issues and you don't want your cats to fight. The next step on introducing your cats is to feed your cats at that closed door. So the new cat will eat at the closed door and your current cats will also eat at the closed door. So this will help your cats smell each other without direct contact and they'll be eating and they like their food. That's a positive experience. So they're going to relate to each other positively but again, they're not in direct contact, so there's not going to be any fighting. Do this for a few days and note down what your cats are doing. Are they eating happily? Are they scratching around? Maybe they're pawing under the door. Is there any hissing? Maybe you need to take it slower. You'll have to adjust these timelines based on your cat's needs. The next step in introducing your cats quickly is to play with your cats at the closed door. All cats love to play. They are natural born hunters and playing is the indoor version of hunting. So this is another positive experience where they can relate to each other. They'll smell each other, they'll hear each other, but again, you're eliminating that direct contact so that they can't fight. But playing at the closed door is another enjoyable experience and this is going to help relate to each other positively. Again, do this for a few days, keep a diary of what your cats do, how they react, and then you can move on to the next step if they're happy. So the next step in introducing your cats fast is to exchange scents between the rooms. Cats are very keen on smells. Their smell is actually about 40 times stronger than ours. So what you can do is exchange the toys. So your new cat will have his own toys and your current cats will have their current toys. So the next time you play at the closed door, exchange those toys because now your new cat is going to smell your current cats on that toy and your current cats are going to smell the new cat on the new cat's toys. You can also do this with your clothing or maybe there's cat beds that you want to exchange. That way your cats can get to know each other again without that direct contact. They can sniff around and they'll also smell your scent on those toys and cat beds and clothing, whatever you exchange. So again, this will help your cats relate to each other positively. The next step to introduce your cats fast is to switch the cats. So what you want to do is put your new cat into the bathroom, close the door, and then open the closed off room for your current cats to explore. Once all of your current cats are in the new room, close that door and let your new cat out into the rest of your home. Your current cats are going to wonder why you've closed off this bedroom from them. So they're going to sniff around and kind of look around and explore, and your new cat hasn't seen the rest of your home yet. So he's going to look around and explore and sniff. And again, this is going to help them get to know each other without that direct contact. The next step to introduce your cats quickly is to have direct contact, but supervised and controlled. So a great way to do this is with a door buddy latch. So this goes on the door frame and the door, and you can control the width of how, how much the door is open. So you can open it a tiny bit, and then they'll get a little bit of direct contact. And then if they aren't swatting and hissing at each other, maybe they're rubbing, maybe they're purring, their tail sticking straight up, that means that they're happy and confident. So that is a good indication to open the door a little bit more. If you notice that your cats are swatting, hissing, and licking their lips, they do that when they're nervous, close the door a little bit more and take it a little more slowly. After a few days of doing that, you notice that your cats are comfortable, they're purring, they're rubbing on the door, they're having a good time playing at the door, you can let your cat free. And you can take a look at my printables in the description below to help you stay on track with all of your routines and your cat's reactions. Thanks for watching.